we have Kate, uh, our nurse practitioner, and I'm Dr. Tayyip. Uh, we're going to take you through uh, multiple uh, topics on uh, health awareness. What, um, who's most at risk from coronavirus? Is there, um, what age group or what person is most at risk of developing the disease? So Kate, there's a lot of fear about Corona at the moment, and I think we should clarify some concept. It is affecting predominantly the elderly population. So uh, if you look at the data from China, you can see the actual uh, number of uh, patients who actually have serious consequences are the elderly people. So uh, the patients more than 60 years of age, uh, and also with uh, multiple comorbidities, which can add uh, to the comorbidity as well as mortality. Uh, conditions like cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, uh, heart attacks, stroke, etc., diabetes, uh, immunosuppression. Immunosuppression can be in different forms. For example, somebody had uh, organ transplant and on immunosuppression or patient on steroids for other conditions. So all these conditions uh, actually predispose the patients to further complications. If you have a respiratory disease in the past, or have been heavy smoker, that can predispose you on a higher risk too. So basically elderly people and with uh, multiple comorbidities are at high risk. That doesn't exclude other people not having serious consequences, but it is very uncommon. So that's something uh, very reassuring.